Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create a contact form for your blogger website. So let's get started. Now for the contact form, we'll be using a service called 123 Form Builder. So just go to this website called 123formbuilder.com and this is the homepage of 123 Form Builder. So here we can see some of the information about this service. We have all the different features. So if you want, you can just go ahead and read through all the different features. Now, first of all, let me show you the pricing. So if you click on pricing, here we can see they have different plans. The first one is a basic plan. So it is free. And then we have a gold plan and then we also have a platinum plan. You can go ahead and compare with these plans over here. So here we can see for the free plan, you have these uh, options over here and uh, you'll be able to create five forms and uh, you can have 10 fields on a form and you can just have 100 submissions for one form. And you can just go ahead and read all these uh, different features that are allowed and uh, not allowed in basic plan. So just go ahead and read through these. So for this video, we'll be just using the free plan. So I'll just log in to 123 Form Builder. All right, I have logged into my dashboard of 123 Form Builder. And uh, here we can see about the forms that we have and the recent submissions that we get from our forms. And uh, let's go ahead and click on new form. So here it gives us a list of things we can create. You can also visit the template gallery. And here we can see different kinds of forms. We have contact form, order form, job application form, and a lot of different kinds of forms. You can also browse through these different categories. But we'll just start with a blank form. So let's go back to my forms. And let's click on create your first form and we'll just click on blank form all right so now here we can see this is where we can build the form and on the left we have different options like these are the fields that we can drag and drop to our form and then we have the design option where we can change the look and feel of the form and then we have different options over here like notifications thank you page and you can even add payments and uh, a lot of different things so let's go ahead and start by adding a field. So if you want to add a text field, you can just drag and drop this uh, option called short text over here. And I will just change this my form to something else. Fill in the form below and we'll just change uh, the size to 24 bold or maybe 14 points. Click on save. All right, so here we have the heading. All right, so here we can see we have our text box and if I click on that, we have these different options for that. And uh, the first one is label. So you can just go ahead and uh, type something over here. So if I just type full name, we can see the label change over here. And uh, then we can set the visibility. And then we have a default value over here. So we can just type something over here like John Doe and it will be written there by default so let's just remove that and then let's scroll down and uh, here we have another important option called instructions so you can have instructions for different fields over here so here we can type something so here we can give some instruction to how to fill this form and uh, then we have this option of making it a required field so if i click on that we can see we have this uh, asterisk sign over here and uh, it indicates that this is a required field and it also has field validation so we can set it to any of these formats over here so we can set it to full name and if the user types something like numbers or anything like that then the form won't be accepted you can even add regular expressions over here so regular expressions are basically format which you can specify and if the user types something except the format that is specified by the regular expression then uh, the form will not be accepted and then you can also have minimum number of characters and maximum number of characters 
and then another important option is uh, this one called add prefix so if you click on that we can add any prefix we want for the fields so here we can type something we want so if i type mister then uh, this text will be here by default and uh, whatever the user types will be displayed after this word so this is how the prefix works all right now let's go back and uh, then we have these different uh, fields like long text which is for text with multiple lines and then we have drop downs and uh, radio buttons check boxes and we also have the option of uh, letting the user upload a file but this is basically a feature for pro users so if you want to use this option then you can upgrade your plan and uh, all these options are there you can also decrease uh, the width of your field by just uh, dragging it from here on the right and uh, then you can just drag and drop another field over here so we can see we have one field over here and the next on the right to delete a field just click on this button called delete and then click on yes all right now for the name we have a specific field already prepared for us so here we can see this option called name let's just drag this over here and uh, we already have name first name and last name over here and then let's go ahead and add a field for the email so we'll drag this one right here now let's go ahead and add uh, this uh, multiple choice field so we'll just drag it over here and uh, for the label we'll just type i use and then you can just edit your choices right here or you can just click on import and then uh, edit the choices over here as well so let me just type some options over here and i'll just click on save so here we have this uh, field where we have three options now let's also add a field for writing the message so we'll just drag and drop this long text from here and there are a lot of different uh, specific fields we can add in our form i'll also add the star rating so we'll just drag it over here and uh, for the label we'll just type how do you rate our service so now the user will be able to rate our services over here from these five stars and like all the other fields we have these options for instructions required field and all these options over here and lastly let's add one more field which is terms of service so i'll just drag this over here so here we can make the user agree to some certain terms of services so you can change the label over here and uh, then you can add the text of the agreement over here so just delete this and add your own agreement text now whenever the user clicks on this terms of service link he'll be presented with a pop-up window which will show this agreement text and you can also make it checked by default if you want and lastly we have this verification so if i click on that we have different options over here so we can choose to not have a verification if you want and then we can have smart capture and different types of capture over here and we also have this popular capture called recapture so you may have seen this in a lot of different forms all right so now let's uh, make the name email and uh, long text i'll change this label all right so we'll make these three required so let's go over here and uh, change this to required field change this to required field and also this one or so i think that's it with all the elements of our form let's go to this uh, second option called design and here we have a lot of options which can change the look and feel of our form so here we have the form width header padding footer padding and all these different options we can have a background image if we want so we can see we have a lot of options now let's go ahead and uh, choose a theme from here so you can go ahead and click on this option called change theme and you can select a theme from here so if i click on this one right here we have a different kind of theme here we have a different kind of theme with a background image here we have a different one so let's select one for our blogger website i think i'll just stick with this one right here 
Now, if you want to see how this form looks on a real website, you can just click on this button called preview form. And this is how the form will look on a real website. So if you click on this terms of service, we can see we have this pop up window where we have the agreement text and we also have this captcha over here. So now that we have all these set up, let's go ahead and add this to our blogger website. So now let's go ahead and click on publish. Now our form has been published. Now let's click on platforms. And here we have different platforms which we can embed our form to. So let's click on blogger and we'll just copy this code. So the code is copied and uh, let's go to the blogger dashboard and let's create a new page. So click on new page. We'll just give a title of contact us. So now here you have to switch to the HTML view. So by default, it will be in the compose view like this. So just go over here to this button and click on HTML view and then just go ahead and paste the code right here. Now, since this is a contact page, let's go ahead and go to options and uh, click on do not allow comments and then click on publish. So the contact us page has been published. Now let's click on view. So here we can see our contact form is being displayed and uh, the styling and everything is just like we wanted it to look. But let's just change this background color to white so that it blends with our blogger design. So let's go over here and uh, let's close this and uh, let's go ahead and let's change the background color. So we'll just go to design and uh, if you scroll down we can see this option called background so we just click on that and select a white color All right now click on publish once more now you don't need to embed your code every time every time you make a change inside one two three form builder the contact form will be automatically updated so let's go over here and refresh our page so here we can see the background color of our form has changed now let's go ahead and fill this form and submit it So I have filled up all the information. Now let me just click on I am not a robot. And I'll just click on submit form. And here we can see your message has been sent. Thank you for filling out our form. And let's go over here and uh, see whether we have the submission. So click on this menu button and uh, click on dashboard. And let's click on recent submission. And uh, let's click on this. And here we can see the submission. We have a submission from John Doe and we have the email ID. We have the option that he has selected in the checkbox. And this is the message and this is the star rating. So in this way, when someone submits your form, uh, it will be displayed over here and you will also be sent an email with all this data. So that's basically how you create a contact form for your blogger website. Now, if you go to your forms, you can even change uh, the message that we have when the form is submitted. So here, if you go to the thank you page, here we can see we have this message. You can go ahead and uh, change this to whatever you want, or you can even redirect to a different web page when the form is submitted. All right. So that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.